Yes. Hello. All right, uh, you hear me? Can I be heard? Yes, I do. Yes. Yep. Yeah, it's been quite some time. Please uh, mute your YouTube so we don't hear ourselves twice, if you don't mind. Uh, yeah, I've done that. So, yeah, what was the question? What's the name? What is the, the name of the father of Moses? Moses. Mo Moses or Aaron, they are his brothers, you know. Right. Whose father? Okay, who's his father? Uh, who actually? Whose father? Uh, Maryam's father or the father of Musa? Maryam's father is the same father of Musa? Uh, the father of Musa is not mentioned in the Quran. Yeah, but I'm asking you, you as a Muslim, when, if I ask you where we can find, how we can find, what is the name of the father of Musa according to your religion? No, no, we can't find that. If it's not mentioned, nowhere. No, mm. cannot. Mm. If you can go to the hadiths, they they have copied a lot from the Jewish scriptures, so mm. they can come up with something. But, okay. Uh, so in the Jewish scriptures, Moses' father is uh, Omran. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's true. Ah, interesting. Okay. And in the Jewish scriptures, uh, 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 Miriam' father is uh, Omran. Uh, I'm not sure about the Jewish scriptures, but mm. in the Quran, it's Imran. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, you know, I have no choice but to show you fatwa. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, sure. This is question: Who is the father of Musa alayhi salam? Fatwa number one zero. Uh, I'm not showing the screen. Sorry. Hold on. Give me a second, please. Um. All right. Do you see the screen, my friend? Yeah, I do see on okay. YouTube. Okay. Musa? Waridu Musa alayhi salam. This is Islam uh, web fatwa dot net. Uh, Waridu Musa alayhi salam. Uh, fatwa number one zero nine three eight. So, question: Who is the father of the Prophet Musa's peace upon him? Answer. Uh, the father of Prophet Musa's peace upon him, he is Umran, the son of Fahith, the son of Lawi, the son of Jacob. Do you agree with that? Oh, well, I wouldn't agree with that so, because if the Quran does not mention, uh, I wouldn't believe in any external source. Mm. But this is in the, uh, like as an example, this is from the Tabari, and they are giving you a resource for you know to. Prove they their... make up stuff. Uh, Everybody knows they are, they have copied from the Talmud and Jewish scripture. You are, you are a Muslim or not, my friend? Uh, I am a Muslim. I believe in the Quran. I okay, no we've problem. Spoken quite yeah, no time. problem. But I'm asking you. So now, how we will find out where what is the name of the father of uh, Moses? We cannot. Okay, we go back to Mary. Is Mary the sister of Aaron? Yeah, she is. She is sister of Aaron. Yeah. Mm. But Aaron is the brother of Moses. Well, th that's a good question, but uh, this Aaron is another guy with the same name, but he turned out to ah, be the brother. he is Mary. the same name. Mm. Mm. But I, my I mean, it's like mm. you have a name, some other guy might exist in future as well. That's a very same. good answer, you know, that's a very good answer. Okay, but my friend, you forgot that the mother of Mary, supposed she have difficulty to give birth. And her father was praying to God to give birth, and then she, you know, he gave him, uh, he gave him a, a, a female, not a male. Yeah. So how yeah. how she have a brother if they have a difficulty to have a son, <laughs> to have a baby? Well, uh, he might have come afterwards. It's not mentioned if he's older than uh, my friend Mary. the Quran. You see, you're you a person who's saying, and you go by the Quran only, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So as long uh, uh, you go by the Quran only, does it say anywhere in the Quran that Allah He gave a brother to Mary? No, it does not say that. So how come you broke your rules against yourself? As you see here, you know yeah. uh, the, uh, uh, the 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 Quran it says clearly that yeah. uh, um, they made a vow even even for like if she gave birth. Um, that that baby will be for uh, like devoted yeah, to God for, for God. Yeah, yeah why? Because people they do that because simply when they don't have children, they cannot have a children. So they say they make a promise: if you give me a child, I will devote my child to God. 
you know well they might might have got a boy afterwards because if the quran says she has a brother so that that's the best thing i can come up with mm. since uh, i don't go outside the quran okay my friend forget about this i want you yeah. as long as you are a quran only you are a quran only right yeah okay um what is the quran what is the quran no no where is the quran because you are a quran only how you can follow the quran if there is no quran then i of course can't follow any if there's no quran okay so where is the quran your quran only remember you see i'm not the one who said that it's you yeah th there's just one quran and where is the quran? what is the quran i mean it's in front of you as well that's not the quran which allah he spoke about you see the quran allah he said inna alayna jama'uhu wa quranuhu do you agree it is us who is going to collect it and we are yeah. the one who recite it but did allah is that quran uh, collected by allah yeah it was it's allah's responsibility to collect the mm. quran and protect okay. the quran from so where is the, where is the quran where is the quran of allah it's with us it's the same quran my friend no the quran in front of us this one supposedly the muslim claim actually there's no proof uh yeah that this is even the quran of uthman they claim even in arabic they say quran or uthman al -maz'um, which means the, the the claimed quran of uthman so where is the quran of allah well they say if you listen to them they say that even the chapters of the quran are not in order and the chronological order is not correct there's a lot wrong with the quran if you go by the sunni or the shia ideology she has even say that uh the Sunnis removed Ahlul Bayt from the Quran. So Imam Mahdi will come with the real Quran. My friend, I'm asking you, you are a Quran only. Yeah. What is your Quran? This is the Quran, that's it. That's the Quran that's of Uthman. You are just the one saying to me, it's not coming in the right order, etc. It's mean, this is not the Quran. If the Quran of Allah should be come in the right order, would somebody play? This is not the Quran of Allah. Who is Who gave a permission to who to change the order? If Allah sent it to, to me in a certain way, I well, have to, to be, be honest decent. with you. Uh, I doubt Usman ever existed. Mm, what and about Muhammad? Really Do you doubt that Muhammad is exist? Def How you know Muhammad is exist? How you know? Otherwise, we wouldn't have. Okay, you see, I'm, I'm going with you. You are a Quran only. Explain to me who is Muhammad based on the Quran, where he's from, what his father name, who is he? Go ahead. I'm listening. None of this is mentioned, and I don't think it's relevant in terms of why faith. not? Why not? Okay, because you are Quran only. Now you have to follow Muhammad, but you do not know who is Muhammad. The Quran even give him many names. How we know which one is Muhammad? The Quran doesn't even mention parents of, you know, the father of Moses, Shuab, and okay, so, know, a couple of other prophets. Okay, why why he mentioned the father of Mary, and why he mentioned, uh, 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 you know, the uh, Zachariah? Why he mentioned, uh, uh, you know, the children of uh, uh, Abraham? I mean, why why the Quran is picking up cherries and the most important prophet who brought the Quran for you? We do not know anything yeah. about him based on the Quran. That, that's a good question. It was Allah's choice to mention it, and Allah also says in the Quran that mm. we have sent prophets to every nation, but we're not relating everybody to you. So Allah is not mentioning every prophet in the Quran. Okay, but so, but, but are you saying to me that the Quran is not an enough book to 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 read? Because now you cannot. Well, if if you see Quran in terms of history and lineage of people, mm. it's not complete. But in terms of faith, it's a complete book. Okay, in terms of faith, it's complete book. How that can be? Explain to me, please. What is the faith in the Quran? Where is the faith? If I if I learn about God in, in Islam, you know, I will ask you a very simple question. Until now, not even a single Muslim was able to answer me. Who is Allah? Allah is the Creator. The Quran says there's many creators. Which one? No, the Quran, the Quran doesn't say that. I know that verse. It's mm. uh, regarding Baal or something that uh, they forget the best of the creator. No, there's many verses. Not only them. that. You know, the Quran says there's many creators. Well, uh, the guy who invented electricity, a car or something. No, they're also friend. creators. No, my friend. You know, you, you say, my friend, my friend. Let us maintain our 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 speech here. In Islam, yeah. you are a person who is Quran only. So the Quran yeah. doesn't say anywhere that the one who creates something as a car or etc. is a creator. The Quran says that the one who can create even a fly, he is a creator. How you can worship someone, he cannot even create a fly. So creation in Islam and creation of the meaning of religion is about yeah. creating a life, not creating, yeah, creating a life. life. This yeah, is the Quran. This is the Quran, chapter 22, verse number 73. Does it say there? 
how you worship somebody you can't even create a fly yeah okay yeah that's based right. on this your 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 god he put the rule if somebody can worship can create a fly we can worship him yeah sure okay but jesus created well, Jesus created by the permission of God. Doesn't matter. He's a creator. He's a cre he's a creator. The second I create something, and now because the the Quran says I breathe into it, correct? Yeah. Okay. Who is the who is the one that breathe? Jesus or Allah? Uh, it's Allah. No, the Quran says it's Jesus. You want to show you? Oh, oh, sorry about that. Sorry, uh, breathe life into uh, right. birds and stuff. So here we so, go. The same as Allah, He created Adam. Jesus creating the bird, correct? Yeah. Okay. So now we have I breathe and Allah breathe, and both of us we are creators. So now Allah is the best of the crea creators. So now we have two creators and we have two gods. Well, that's a good question because Allah is the only creator. Allah, uh, Jesus gave life by the permission of God. And here's a question: What do you think the word malak means? Like malak al maut and malaika. What do you think? Uh, this the is word a copy from the Ara means. This is a copy from the Aramaic language, and the Muslims yeah. do not know what it does mean. Yeah, in uh, Hebrew it means malak. So, what do you think the literal meaning is for this word? Since you speak Arabic, well, in 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 the Arabic tradition, it's always come as an angel, supposedly. But the fact it's not; it's someone in charge of something. Yeah, yeah it means the owner, the owner of death, the mm. owner of power. Like uh, Jibrail, he's mm. the owner of power. So it's Allah who grants the ownership. Mm. But none of them can create. Yeah. Hmm. It is Allah who creates. So now we, we agree, me and you, there's two only, they are, they can create, Allah and Jesus. Well, Jesus can't really, Jesus was fairly limited by giving life to the bird and just, a uh, bird and then Lazarus. Hmm. Does it make <laughs> so, a difference really if I can create a bird or if I, because the verse in the Quran is speaking, if he, because he made a figure of a bird, he made it alive, but he can obviously, whatever yeah, figure that, he that's makes. A, that's also in the Gospel of Thomas, but it's by the permission of Allah, I believe, on his own, I don't believe. My friend, you, you see your prophet I've, is copying it from, from Bibles who don't approve. However, even if that's true, that confirmed that yeah. Jesus is still is God, because even those books which Muslims are copying from, confirms to that Jesus is God and why the Christians they would deny such a miracle which would confirm more that Jesus is a creator and here we go Muhammad he copied it within his Quran and he made it more difficult to believe that Jesus is just a prophet because now he became a creator the Quran confirmed that Jesus he can tell you what you hide in your houses is that correct yep that's true okay. but isn't it the Quran says that only Allah knows what you in your house is well, Allah knows what's deep inside you. Do you know what? That's what Allah says. Allah says Allah knows what you stores, but what's in your minds as well. Allah knows your intentions and everything, which mm -hmm. of course Jesus uh, didn't know. Why? What do you What do you mean? Jesus uh, by know. intentions, like what's in your chest, what's in your mind, what you're thinking. Only Allah knows that your plans. But the Jesus only knew what people store in their houses. In order to know what you store in your houses. What you ate, I have to have to know to read your mind. How I can know what you did, I can. I that's mean I have the ability to go flashback and see everything you did in your day. So there's nothing hiding from me. Because well, what? Well, that's because my friend knowledge of the unseen. So I have absolutely no idea. Yeah. See, when I know what you did, it means simply, I know everything you thought about. Because before it became. An action you thought about it, correct? Yeah. Okay. That's when he know everything. He know what you think. Well, you know this. Is what well, the Bible says. Yeah. You know the Jews. They said. Uh, you know. Uh, uh, they said. He said to you know, your sin is forgiven. Uh, Jesus said to them, which one is easier to say that? Like they were wondering, like how he can forgive sin. Who is this guy? You know, uh, which one is easier to forgive his sin or say to him, carry your bed and, and walk? So if we go in the Quran, we will find that there's many verses confirm that Allah is the only one who knows and nobody knows except Allah and then we find that Jesus he knows too and nobody create except Allah and then we find that Jesus create too and nobody uh, there is a creator no creator but Allah but then Allah he says he is the best of the creators so when when Allah he says he is the best of the creator either this is was a lie or it was true 
Who is the creators beside Allah? Nobody. It's just Allah. So it's how you Allah say? Giving, but my friend, giving. this will be stupid to say I am the best of the creators, but there is no creators. Me, I'm lying. If I say, if I go to my, let's say I'm a kid and I went to my mom and I say, hey mom, I was the best in my classroom. But later they find out I was the only student in the classroom. That's mean I'm a liar. Correct? But if we see the heavens and earth today, you, you don't see anybody else creating other than Allah. In my friend, nobody life. saw Allah created anything. Did Allah create anything? Here we go. Muhammad, he came and he left. He could not do anything. Why Why Jesus, he can create? Why Jesus can tell you what you had in your houses? Why Jesus can resurrect you from death? Why Jesus can heal the blind? Why Jesus can heal the leper? Why Jesus is still alive? Muslims, they have no answer. Why Jesus don't have a father? I mean, all those questions will make Jesus just a prophet. If we ask from the beginning, from the first day in the life of Jesus, he speak in the cradle. Muhammad took him 40 years and then he been squeezed three times and still he have no idea what's happening. He go to his that, wife and his wife should tell him. Story. That, that's a fake story. Uh, he was never squeezed three times. That's something Sunnis came up with just to justify because they had no idea what the Quran says. Okay, no problem. So that, that's the result of the poor understanding. My friend, no problem. Result of the poor understanding. So what is your understanding of the story when Allah he said to Muhammad, Ikhra? He uh, never said that the actual story is in chapter number 53, Surah Al-Najam. Surah Al-Najam? What do you mean? Yeah. What uh, is Surah Al-Najam, if you open up Surah Al-Najam from, I, I I can't remember, maybe verse 5 or 6, let me check. Okay. From there on, it gives you actual story, what actually happened, how Muhammad received the first revelation. Uh, it's It begins from, yeah, 53.5. 5? Alam al shit al -Kawwa. Okay. Okay. Um, who is this yep. one who taught him? Who is Shadid al Quwa? Uh, uh, Shadid al Quwa is Gabriel. He's uh, okay. the powerful angel. Did you say Gabriel? Yeah. You will Jibrayl. not. You will not take your word back. No, I will not. You promise? Yeah. You swear by the fig? Yeah. Okay. You swear by the olive? Yeah. I never heard of God. He swear by fig, man. Anyway, let us go and see the, the the chapter you choose for me, so we can love together. Because this chapter is proving that Muhammad is a false prophet. If you read with me here carefully, it says, "By the star when it is it fall, do the star fall?" Yeah, the stars do fall. Okay, what is star is falling? Sky. What is star falling? Have what the star falling? Meteorites. My friend, no, this is not a meteor. This is a najm. A najm is not a meteor. In Arabic, we say she has. Like, no. It seems like it's uh, metaphorical. No, no, my friend. Arabic is very rich language. We don't use the word najm for shihab. Shihab or shuhub is, a, is, is the meteor. So Allah swear, okay, let us say this is a meteor. Allah swear by the meteor. Yeah. Well, what is the connection between this and Allah coming down or Jibreel coming down to teach Muhammad? What is the connection? When I say by the meteor or by the star when it fail, either I am meaning that Jibreel or the one who is coming down himself is a star, or there's no connection. Well, it seemed like because uh, Jibreel himself uh, came to Muhammad in his, in his real form. No problem, but what is the connection between the star failing and Jibreel coming down? Uh... You see, when I'm making this uh, right now, I'm talking to you, and suddenly yeah. I, I swear by the zucchini. Shouldn't you ask me why? What zucchini have to do with our topic? Because it seemed like a star falling from the sky. That that's the connection. Because mm, it seems so. Is, this is a false oath yeah. then, because it's he said he said it, by the star, it's, but it's, it's not the star. Ah, oh, okay, okay. I will go with you now. Here you will see it's continue. Yeah. It says your madallah sahibukum wa mahawa. Your your friend he did not go astray and he did not neither yeah. go error. Why why they are saying that to him? Why, because why? he's not a liar. He's not speaking from his own, own desire. Mm. Okay, that's 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 a good thing. But is it because somebody says to him, Muhammad, your shaitan is forsaking you. He's not coming to you. This is what happened. But anyway, you don't believe in the hadith, so we will let it go. Then, yep, so al -hawa. hold on. Yeah. Al -hawa. Who is the one who don't speak of his own desire? Who is the one they are uh, talking about here? Uh, Muhammad, uh, Muhammad. So we have got five minutes left. Okay. So, well, uh, too yeah. bad you have five minutes left. But let me show you, my friend. As long as you have five minutes left, if yeah, you see yeah, here, sure. if you see here, this is cannot be Jibril because here it says that the one who spoke to him, it was 
his Lord and he revealed into his slave that what he revealed the one who came down is the same person doesn't switch to Jibreel to Allah no there's no mention of Jibreel they mention no anyone well, it says that he yes, that's again philosophy he revealed which means Jibreel revealed mm -hmm. to, his, to slave. his servant to servant of Allah no 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 you see both of them they are capital letter read with me both of them in Arabic it's very clear for oh abdihi Ma I mean, in, in Arabic there's not like Abdihi is concluded in the servant he's a slave in Arabic like in Arabic is different language so in English you say he's a slave but in Arabic when you say when he is saying the slave he is saying his in the same time and his goes back to the one who is the master of the slave who is that that's Allah because Muhammad is not the slave of Jibreel is that correct yep that's true okay so how this is can be Jibreel this is a very confusing verse, stupid well, verse. You can have an other understanding that that's how Allah revealed. He revealed through Jibreel onto his servant. My friends tell you will not call it. You will not say no because it says and he revealed into his servant. Is it describing for us the descendant of a person? Correct. There's a there's a person is coming down, and then yeah, he revealed. So there's no there's no like disconnection between them. That's it. It's coming from point A to point B, step by step. I swear by the star when it's falling down, and the one who taught you. And then you know he he saw him in the horizon, correct? He was in the horizon, yeah. okay. And then just and then he drew down, he drew down. Just, just, listen, yeah. he drew down, same person. And then he is so close into to the point he is like in the length of two bow or nearer. And then yeah. he revealed. It's not yeah. it's not then say that someone else revealed. Yes, but CP, the thing is, it's clearly against the mainstream story, uh, which is regarding, you know. See, a second ago, happened. five minutes ago, you told me you don't believe in the hadith. Now you have to switch to the hadith no, to no, say no. to me, my story. I don't. I'm saying that that's a fake story in the hadith. The Quran is, but, but, the, but the Quran here, the Quran here yeah. is confirming that is one person, there's no two, no two person, there's no Jibreel. And for sure, this is going to be Jibreel. This is, must be Allah, because the one who came down. It mentioned that he mentioned to his slave Abdo is not even his servant, it is his slave. So this is cannot be Jibreel. There's no you see the story continue describing to us a person coming from the sky, and he is, you know, even it says, you know, the one who is mighty in power. Who is the one in mighty in power? Is that is that that's, Jibreel? That's Jibreel. No, yeah. no, my friend. No, because if if it is Jibreel, then he will not be the slave of Jibreel. Very simple. Secondly, when you say he is the might of power, that means there's no other might of power. You see, when I give you a title, yeah. you know, all the titles they have to be given from God. But when I say he is the might of power, that's mean Almighty God, because Almighty God is the might of power. No one, no one has have power save God. All the power is coming from God. So when I say you are the mighty power, that's mean you are the mighty power. There's nobody like you. Well, Allah has given him strength more than uh, anybody else. No, has given no, the strength. no, no, my friend. That's we still. That, uh, is he more strong than Allah? No, no. Okay, no so how he is the might of power? You see, in the might of power, it's mean uh, as simple as that. He is might of power. That's mean. To, see, we are talking about the word might. It's, that's mean. That's it. That's the one who uh, ultimate power. There's no competition to him. This is why we call God Almighty God. There's nobody like you know like, have a power like him. So obviously here, when you are a person, want to go by the Quran only, you will find yourself chaining yourself into a rob. And you are the more you read, the more you tie yourself up. And then to find a solution, you have to go to the Hadith. No, CP, I've never been to Hadith. I've been studying Quran for quite some while, and I believe it's enough. And Allah has not neglected anything in the book. Okay, just before you go, I don't know if you heard me yeah. before speaking about. Uh, uh, you know, like uh, as an example, your God Allah, He speak about how He created the baby. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you I agree? Do you agree with the Quran that how He created the baby, how your God created the baby? Uh, which baby, Adam? The baby, any baby? No, the the reproduction. You know, like after Adam. Yeah, I'm aware of. Do that, you agree? Uh, a Quranic fact. Yeah, I do agree with the Quran. How is that happen? I mean, this is really weird. How you agree? You are smarter than this. 
How, how well, I can't going? really see the how? debate on this because I'm not a doctor and I've never seen any. Yeah, but you have a, do you have high school, my friend? Do you have high stage. school? Do you have high school? Yeah, yeah. I've okay. Been to school and so, high like, school. we we learn. I mean, it's a basic knowledge. You don't have to. I'm a, I'm not a doctor too. I'm nobody told. Did I say I'm a doctor? I'm not. You know, yeah. uh, even my English is funny. I mean, what what I can say more, but that will not be a reason to say. That I do not understand and how I learned. Since we were in the like in the sixth grade, we learn how the baby production happened. So when your God He says that Allah He made the sperm into a congealed blood, isn't it? This is obvious that this is a funny book. Um, no, I would agree with that. Uh, mm -hmm. It's the sperm that becomes into a blood clot, and mm -hmm. then. By the way, my studies were never that deep. You like, agree? You, you know, agree with that, or you don't agree? I do agree with the Quran. Is that based on some research you did, or just you agree, whatever it's No, my, my faith. Uh, I would be honest with you because I'm not a doctor. I've never seen anything with my own eyes. Yeah, but this is very, very, uh, you know, uh, very ignorant of the one who wrote the Quran to say so because the sperm, first of all, will not transform into anything. And the baby is not coming from the sperm, actually. The sperm is just deliver, uh, activate the egg and uh, deliver DNA. And, and the sperm will be the, the, this, uh, disposed. That's it, will be disappear. And then yeah. uh, uh, it's not if the sperm is transformed into the clot. There is something that's called the egg, and the egg is the one is going to grow, not the sperm. So here, uh, at the same time, the clot. There's no stage in the in the the baby embryo is going to be uh, the the baby will be after it's being a sperm is going to be a congealed blood, which means dead blood. That is a very stupid mistake. So I do not need to. Like, I mean, you are saying to me, I never search. I mean, you are a smart person. You will not go and do like little search in Google now. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Come on, you are being honest. Be honest moment, with me, my friend. Be honest with I, my. I, I, you I, see, it's up to you. I'm not going to shout at you, and I'm not going. To, I'm not going to. You see, you are. You are. You are. You are speaking to me with respect. I speak to you in respect. You know, usually Muslim they played a lot of games, but I am uh, uh, expecting you not to be one of them. You know. Yeah. This I'm why. Really, this yeah, why until now we did not shout. Usually, when I talk to Muslims, we shout. Why? Because they start insulting. They start calling names. You are a nice person, but a nice person like you. He cannot fool himself and fool us and says, I'm not going to go to Google for, after two minutes and search, and I find that this is stupid. No, I will definitely do my research on this. Okay. Uh, but I haven't touched this. Do you topic. promise me to call me later to see? Like, are you? Yeah, sure. Okay. okay. Yeah, sure. Call I'll me later. Google. Check it out. Check it out, my friend. And call me later. Either either this is true, or if this is not true, it means Allah is not true, too. Yeah, I won't be able to ring you back today. but No problem. So you, have, you have 10 years from now. No problem. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, for okay. Take care. Okay, thank, uh, thank you, CP. It was nice to be Bye bye. So, I mean, what we can do? You see, they, they say we are Quran only in order to avoid all the disasters and the stupidity in the prophet stories. But that will not help you. It's still stupid. I mean, the Quran, every verse, every statement is a joke. Every verse. I mean, here we go. Who is going to choose for me something smart in this book? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? And any any Muslim would like to tell us something? Which which where in the Quran we should go? Show me something smart in this book. Here we go. We are live on air. We challenge the Muslim to show us show us one smart sentence in this book. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello, sir. My name is Rehan. Hey, Rehan. How are you? Are you a Muslim, my friend? Yeah, but uh, you know, I have to share something uh, with you, hmm. and I hope you like it. But you are a Muslim, right? Yeah. Okay. What do you want to share with me, my friend? I just want to share, basically. Uh, I have to tell you something that I'm from Afghanistan, yeah? All right. <clears throat> and uh, we have been in the uh, uh, under the law of Sharia law okay. in Afghanistan for many, many years, for many, many years. And uh, this slaughtering and killing people and like these things, was, like every time is just was like, you know, so uh, unacceptable for me. And... Uh, 
I had to left my country. That's the other story why I left my country and uh, I arrived to uh, Paris. Hmm. And uh, where I come to Paris, you know, I met some Christian people and they were so nice the way they communicated, you know, I never seen like people like them, you know, so I, 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 I've got really impressed, you know, and I studied about, I started to study about Christianity and that kind of stuff. So you have just showed me the path, you know, what is wrong with these people and you know I, 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 I was always in doubt because the guy like me you know from Afghanistan they they never tell you know what's going on there you know no in not in other country like Afghanistan like uh, if you go to Saudi Arabia and other country you will not see the Sharia law as hard as as hard as it is in Af- in Afghanistan mm-hmm. So all I want to say, you know, just thank you for what you did. I'm just going to, you know, what I have to do. I'm, I'm going to do it. So you, so you, did, I'm you also, did you decide to leave us now, my friend? I already left. I already left, oh, I, but oh. I'm so scared and I don't know what to do because uh, uh, you, you can understand my situation, I think. Okay, yeah, I understand. But, you know, as long as you live in Europe, you can, you know, just... Uh, uh, stick with the Christians, be around them, go to church, and find uh, you know a, a nice community to be with, and stay away from people who might do harm to you. You know, uh, um, I really hate you know I I really hate you know because we, we are distracted, distracted from the very beginning. You know how to live life, and you know what we need to do. Free will. Uh, I just I just saw your video about free will. You know we have no free will. There's a people who just crying, you know, we like they are telling to the the the, the rappers of like Mujahideen and that kind of stuff, they're doing jihad, that kind of stuff. They are they're telling them they are yelling that we don't need you, you know, we just leave us in peace. We we want peace. But that, you know, the, the Sharia law is disgusting. But my friend, now now you are out of this uh, free will madness of Islam because there's no free will, as you said. Now you are not in Afghanistan and you are now you accepted Christ already, correct? Did you accept to believe in Jesus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I always, you know, just try to pray, you know, to just like Father help me. You know, I'm so distracted. I'm so, you know, and I even uh, don't have any friends here because I know, you know, they're all always there just saying this bullshit and that kind don't of stuff. Don't have so a friends from them. I mean, you don't have a friends. Find a find find Christian friends. You know, why do not? You do not need to be with them. I mean, always there's a new there's community, and you are not in Afghanistan, so you can find people who they are. You know, uh, good for you. Uh, but yeah, but let yeah, me let yeah, me ask you: so like, nice. you decide to leave Islam because you were watching my videos or before? Yeah, I'm watching your videos. I'm, I've been watching the videos of uh, David Hood, hmm. and there's also a few uh, people. You know, that were, I, I you know the important thing was for me. You know, I I didn't really know about full of Islam. Okay. You know, but uh, I've been watching videos and debating and, you know, just finding answer and then just thinking about it and just trying to, you know, uh, collect the pieces and just get together and that kind of stuff I was doing. I'm not really stupid. You know, from the very beginning, I knew, yeah, like something is wrong with us. You know, something is going wrong. Because when we, mm-hmm. when, when I was a kid, you know, we, our fathers and uncles and they used to beat us, you know, to study and that kind of stuff. And they also used to tell us, you know, Islam has arrived by the power, you know, it's not came just like that, you know. So you have to admit whether you want or not. Yeah, I know. Um, well, did, did you like uh, join any church already? Like, uh, sorry, my English is a little bit Did you join any church and where you live? Did you go to any church? Uh, yeah, uh, I, I tried many times, you know, to go there, but I couldn't find anyone, you know. But uh, I'm willing, I'm willing so much, you know, to meet these people and just learn more about, you know, okay. Christianity. Well, there is there is many, and maybe uh, if you text me later where, where where you are, you know, but just just in private, yeah, uh, maybe I can find you something. Yeah. But there is many churches for sure, and you know, you need to learn the Bible, and then you need to, you know, we need to 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 uh, to denounce the devil. Uh, officially and do baptism uh, because baptism will really yeah. will refresh your life and will give you the spirit of God with you so I encourage you my friend and don't be uh, uh, don't fear anything I mean life uh, life is short and nobody can uh, you know I have no fear in my life uh, you know you can imagine how many death threat I get every day right eh, I don't care I love but nobody can scare me there's a yeah yeah I know you you are good yeah yeah. I have so, to, so don't, just I be have strong, be strong, and then don't let anyone intimidate you. 
and do what is right for you. Yeah. And at the end of the day, what is right yeah. will be counted, and the rest it doesn't count. So uh, I'm, I'm I'm happy for you, and uh, mm -hmm. still you. you need to find a church to go to, and uh, you know uh, a community you can be part of them. They will be your family, and you know uh, yeah. in life our family you know, is, not, is not really a mother or a father. Our family is those who they are good to us because. Sometimes yeah. even yeah. your close ones can humanity. be ugly to you. Yeah, I believe in humanity. I believe in good, and you know, as long as I know, you know, the humanity, and they like, like they said, you know, the God loves uh, the the Muslim people like more than uh, seventy times. Mm. Yeah, and but, when it comes to slaughtering and you know punishing people, you know, they don't even feel they just don't care about humanity and that kind of stuff, and that's that's it just broke me inside. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I, you know, I know that, you know, if if I'm scared, I'm so scared, you know. If I know that, if I, I I'm already, I, I already accepted, you know, uh, that I am, I was in the wrong path, and uh, but you know, if I uh, accept uh, Jesus, you know, I have, I have lost everyone, everyone that I knew before. No, who cares? I mean, I, 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 you know, I, I'm willing to lose everyone I know in the world. You know, uh, as long as I am, you see, what the benefit Jesus said, what the benefit if you win the whole world and you lose yourself. So don't worry about those things. You know, the, uh, God is our provider and he always send you better people to be your friends. Look how big my family. Look, look, do you see how many? Are those are my family. Look at them. If I say right now, who want to take me to his house? All of them, they will invite me. I have a bigger family than any. I mean, don't don't think about this this way. I mean, this, this life is is God is is our provider, my friend. Is not anyone, uh, you know. Uh, I don't I don't even think about tomorrow. Tomorrow come with good because God is good. So don't don't let anyone you know make you hesitate and don't let me anyone to you know to scare you. For you know, you are doing I'm the right scared. thing. No, Trust no, me, so don't, scared, don't be scared. You know, no. I'm, I'm scared from my people. No, don't be. Stay away from them. Don't associate with them. I mean, like what do you have to? Associate I'm living with them? with them. I have no other choice. You know, uh, they are uh, they are upstairs. I just came downstairs. You know, just to talk to you, and so, and I'm talking so slowly. Okay, you but, know, this is, but this is temporarily. They, they, this is this is temporarily. Sooner or later, you will find your place, and you will find a job, and you will work, and etc. Stay away from them. That's it. Live your life. This is temporary. You are maybe yes. you just came to the country, maybe you're a refugee, and you are now in, in you know. But this is temporary. Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, you know. And, uh, I am asylum. Uh, when we are in a certain age, uh, you know, we are going through certain stuff. You know, we have different life, and then the Lord will provide us, and we and you go along with your life. Don't uh, associate with them too much, and don't take to talk about if if you know they are dangerous. Well, like, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. talk to them. You know, yeah. they always, always, always find, find, that kind of stuff, yeah, you know, find your way of life, find a job, you know, move out, stay by yourself, and stay away from them, and find a community fit with your belief, where you can enjoy life and yeah. be good. And at the same time, when you find somebody good quality, he is from your country, you can be the ambassador to, to the Messiah, and you bring that person. Because you know, I'm writing. I'm I'm about to write a book. I'm already start. I already started to write a book, and uh, I'm go. gonna I'm gonna expose everything. All right, good for you. Good for you, my friend. I'm yeah, really happy I for you. But be be, be strong. That I know. Be strong, and don't let anyone you know take you down. Be strong. Yeah. Don't uh, uh, being afraid is not shouldn't be part of your dictionary as a Christian. Be smart. The Bible speak about we have to be smart. Yeah, and we have I to be smart, peaceful in the same me. time. So, yeah, be peaceful and be smart. So we are peaceful and we are smart. Yeah. We don't throw ourselves yeah, into yeah. into into the to the to to the fire and say, "Oh, the fire is going not going to burn me." So be smart, do what is right, and I we pray for you that soon you will have a better place to live in, and you will find a job. You can support yourself. You can stay away from those people, and you can practice your faith, and you know yeah. the, the Lord will provide you with better life. Yeah. All right, my friend. Uh, just, 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 just try to, you know, just try to find me some people, you know, like Christian good people, so I can uh, catch up with them and just learn more, you know, to yeah. find my own path. Yeah. Don't worry, my friend. The Lord will be with you. That was. It was really nice to meet you, and Thank God you. bless you. You're doing a really good job. Take care, my friend. God bless. You.